up as the panels increase their temperature. True story. And that's why I say that it really has to do with the temperature more than anything else. See, we're already starting to drop. Look at the volts. The volts are going to go below 300 here in just a minute. Yep, there it is, 298 at 3950. So our output, AC output watts and our DC input voltage are now starting to drop as the panels begin to increase temperature. And this is the whole point of this video. So you people that live in hot climates, you're going to have to really be aware of temperature You'll have to figure that into your, into your designs in order to make sure that you're getting the power um, that you need. Those of you that live in much colder climates, not such a big deal. You don't have to factor this in as much because your temperatures will never get this high. Yeah, we're, we're about to go below 3,800 or 3,900 watts now just in this amount of time. It really has nothing to do with the fact that there's water on top of the panels. Not at this point. They've, the water's all sheeted off the panels and, is, and, and the panels are beginning to dry at this point. And, of course, they're beginning to increase their temperature. There we go. 3889 at 301. I mean, I could keep going on and, and, and eventually, in five minutes, we'd be back to close to where we started. So for now, So for now, Solar Steve from Solar Nation, stay tuned, and everybody have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you later.